if you're one of the coaches, strength coaches that spend 87 minutes warming up before you train, this video is going to bother you. Stop it. It is ridiculous. Think about the fact that you probably don't have that much time during your day to train. Okay. And even if you do stop spending and wasting the, all that time on your warm up, you don't need to be taking yourself through every single RPR. Like, yes, I understand if you're a high level athlete and you need to go through some tissue work and you've played a sport for a really long time and you're competing at the NFL or NBA or like really high level sport and it takes you some time and you're going to go and get some tissue work. Cool. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the strength and conditioning coach that is trying to get some fitness in their life. And we've talked about this before. Y'all are still too fat and you need to go do some conditioning and you need to get training on the field. But again, that's a different time. If you are spending forever doing these warm ups and mini bands and I got to get my hips activated and I got to roll this and I'm going to do heat and it's just like you're spending all this time getting ready to train when you have limited time to either be programming doing administrative work, coaching hours on the field, reading, making connections, learning, or how about this? Even maybe getting out of work on time so you can spend time with your family, all right? Or just have other hobbies so you're not just this boring person that is either at work or at home. Stop wasting all this time warming up forever. You know what's a really good warm up? Light weights of the movement or movements you're doing in your training session. How about that? That, that used to work back in the day before everything had to be like, I'm going to RPR this and I'm going to do the, or I'm going to roll here and I'm going to get my mini band and I'm going to do, just start training, just start training and have the lighter sets. Let that be your warm up. Try this one too. This is, this might be new to you. All right. Do your accessory movements in your training block first. All right. Flip it. So rather than, oh, if you're going to do a big squat day and you're going to finish with some accessory work that, do the accessory work first, all right? That can serve as your warm up. Lighten those loads, get your body ready. Then you hit all the other stuff when you're actually warm. And now you've again saved time. Time is your most valuable resource, not money, all right? You can get more money, you can't ever get more time. So I'm giving you the gift of time. You're welcome. You are all very welcome, all right? You can thank me later, all right? Like Drake said, thank me later. But guess what? You don't have that much time. Stop spending so much time on your warm up. Just start training. All right. Once you start doing that, you're going to realize that you're going to be healthier. You're going to realize you got more time to do more stuff. You're going to be more productive. You're welcome. All right. Enjoy having more time. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Why don't you celebrate by watching more videos just like it? You can also help us on our quest to placate the algorithm gods by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you.